What is up guys? It's been a while, but I'm finally back. Today I want to tell you guys about just the greatest add-on that I think just recently happened for Inky users. And it's called the Emboss Add-on. So let's let's head over here and find out what's going on here and open up my Inky page. Okay, so you guys don't know Emboss is essentially a uh, it's a giant question bank. I think it's known more for people who use this for uh, Euro. It's equivalent to Euro. But uh, I, they have a, a library of just factoids and knowledge, information that you can just use. Um, so essentially, it's also have a lot of questions. I think it's really pop. I think it's more popular in um, step two. But uh, I think it's they kind of get into the market of um, step one preparation. So right now, step one, the golden standard is what you were right. But um, Emboss, I think they're trying to like get into that field. So. On the screen here, you can see that I'm, I'm on the Emboss page, and so this is pretty much like the library. You can this is called Learning Cards, and you can just like search what factors you want to know, like um, let's say a uh, hemorrhage, and then it will show up like all these things, and you can just uh, you know hem you want to learn more about hemorrhage shock and this, a little uh, summary here, and then you can click on it to find out more information. So this is their online bank, and now what they recently done is they added that extension where you can click on an Anki card and it will give you information from the Emboss library. Okay, and this is totally brand new. This is, I don't think anyone's ever done this. And if you guys don't know, I think one of the biggest factors that people hate about using flashcards or like using Anki to study is that they're like, oh, it's so singular and you only get one card, one fact per card and you can't connect all these dots. So what used to be the case was that people used to um, have something called pop-up dictionary and uh, that's essentially just let you pretty much um, click on the card. I'll show you guys right now. You can just, uh, let's say there's only leakage, I don't want to mess up my, so I'm going to do my cards longer you guys, I don't want to mess up my progress. So you're probably going to do a leakage of uh, electrolytes from the cells. Okay, so essentially you can just double click on the card. And this is pop-up dictionary right here, um, and it will show you. So search up your whole entire browser library of cards for words that are similar. So like leakage, and then see here leakage again. And you see, I don't know why I'm pointing to you guys. You see my finger on the screen with leakage. So just search up the one word leakage. I think that was the biggest weak point of uh, pop-up dictionaries. But this is just kind of help people in the past where you kind of want to see more from, let's say polyenes, you want to see more information from polyenes. Um, but the problem for this was that it only searches for one word, so sometimes the disease has like more than one word, and it can't search for it. Um, so it, it kind of makes the, and then, you know, like the, the card just shows up, I'm not sure what order it shows up in, uh, but sometimes you have to scroll through a long list of cards just to find certain information that's related. So that was annoying. Okay, so, Emboss, literally just this is the beta version that emailed me today and I just got it, I just downloaded it, I put it in. Um, just follow the instruction, it should be fine. I'm using Windows. I think, I'm not sure if the code only works for certain people, but my friend, I sent my friend the code. He downloaded the add-on, but he could not bring it into uh, Anki. Um, and he's using 2.1 Anki. I'm also using 2.1, but uh, for us, we can literally just, you know, uh, drag and drop we can drag something put it onto the to the folder of the add-ons but for, he's using a Mac and we couldn't figure out a way to do it I don't know you guys maybe you guys know how um, comment put in a comment for me but so he can't do it on the Mac so maybe it's only from a uh, Windows user right now because it's still beta but you, once you add it you restart your Zanky you're gonna see this emboss add-on you can't really configure it you can disable it if you want and I think notice the first time that I did it, I had to log into my Emboss page once I opened up my uh, Anki app. And up here, you're gonna see that uh, there's an Emboss button now. You can just log out and find out more about it. But there's not much customization going on here. Okay, so let's get into the meat of it. Uh, we're gonna do a few cards so I can show you guys what's happening, what's going on, and how great it is. Uh, we talk about pros and cons. Honestly, I don't think there's much cons. I'm loving it so far. Uh, so let's, let's try it. Are you guys ready? Alright, here we go. Uh, which bone tumor arises in the epiphysis of long bones? Um, uh, 
giant cell tumor. Right, that's only the only one. Okay. Okay. So you see here anything that's underlined blue, that means it's so I think Amboss literally go through every single card in your breath uh, library and it picks out words and recognizes and it will just let you know ahead of time what you can see and what you cannot, which I love because sometimes in pop up dictionary you have a word that has no really search result and you click on it and it just say no result and you kind of waste your time doing that. In this case, you can say, oh, giant cell uh, tumor. So in this case, it doesn't work that great here for giant cell tumor because you want to know about more about the giant cell tumor, but in this case, just telling you about giant cell. Um, so yeah, so let's say you can find some in tumors. Uh, for this certain card, you can't see more information. Um, but let's see, let's see, uh, you see go to epiphysis, right? You can actually click on this extra information. It will take you to the main learning card library, okay? And tell you more about epiphysis, tell you more about what type of bones, and just the whole main library here. Um, and that's amazing, you know? So sometimes you just want to connect the dots and this is the best way to do it. Um, long bones, see? So like, one of the big things I like about the Amboss add-on is that it can actually connect the two words together. You can search for long bones instead of just um, one word like long or it's like bone. Uh, let's see, let's go on. Um, side protrusion in um, indirect. So that's uh, I don't, I don't remember this one. Internal deep inguinal ring. You guys know that one, you guys are good, you guys are better than me. Internal deep inguinal ring, external, just external, I think. So, again, in this case, you can see that it searches for all three words. Indirect inguinal hernia, and that's perfect. Because if I just search for, for just indirect, it will give me pop-up dictionary. Just literally indirect and this bunch of extra stuff on me, like T3 resin uptick test. I will just search up inguinal, um, pop-up dictionary. You know, give you like inguinal hernia, and crypt orchidism, inguinal nodes. So like, look at all these cards that I actually have to see through to kind of find the relevant info. When I can just look at this for the broad overview and be like, oh, I kind of don't remember everything. I want to learn more. I just go ahead and click on this. That's amazing. Um, I think this is a game changer for anyone who used Anki in med school. And uh, if they keep this up, I think Amboss is going to be a must buy for literally any medical student. Right now, I feel like not a lot of people use it um, because they have RX uh, that correlate with first aid. They have U World that's just a gold standard for like learning and doing questions. And Amboss is kind of like a side thought. It's like, oh, if I have time, I'll do it. Um, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Demographics most commonly associated with leaking sclerosis. This is be postmenopausal women. Um, blank is the HIV capsule protein P24, not 17. That's the matrix, okay. What's the common unnatural cause of death in patients with Huntington disease? Uh, they're gonna like commit suicide. I recently learned this. Uh, yeah, so I, I wanted to show you, let's, let's get to the part where I want to show you guys. What is for aspirin? Uh, uric acid decreases uric acid reabsorption in the renal trios. Aspirin at what higher low doses decrease reabsorption, so high doses, right? So it actually lets you search up stuff in the extra section right here, not just in the main section, also in the extra section. Pro benefit, you know. I think this is so cool. Um, Polymixin is really toxic against CNS, kidneys, and all. Okay, so one other thing I want to point out is that it can actually search for abbreviations. So in this case, central nervous system would be the CNS and actually recognizes that it's the CNS that we're talking about. It can give you more information about the CNS. And this goes along with you know other diseases too, like uh, membrane proliferative glomerulonephritis, MPGN, um, FSGS, all these abbreviations that we put in the card actually recognizes it. And this doesn't just work with pre-made decks. I actually use this on my own cards. When I made my own cards, I actually read them all. And this is amazing. All right, so with that said, um, what do I think about this app? Pros, it helps you connect all the dots of the cards. It helps you learn along the way of just doing cards. Um, I think the biggest problem for 
you know, uh, Anki users in the past was not connecting the dots, not understanding the cards sometimes. And that happened for me too in the beginning where I just kind of power through and kind of memorize every single fact and everything on the cards and stuff, kind of actually learn the concepts. And with this, you, and it, it, it was, it wasn't, it was because I was kind of lazy, you know, you had to go like over the browser, look up every single little facts about these, let's say like hundreds of disease or something. Um, I just wanted to just do the cards and learn what's on the card and remember what's on the cards and move on and so I spend my time doing searching up stuff because sometimes when you search up Google or Wikipedia there's extra information. In this case with Emboss, you can literally see the information right there. You can learn more about the disease if you want and that's going to be step related. So you know that you're not learning extraneous information, you can learn the high yield material. Um, and this is just gonna help a lot of you know students in, in school who using who's gonna be using Anki as the mostly main main learning tool. Um, this is amazing. I'm I'm so I'm so glad that they came out with this. They can be making a lot of money. Um, a lot of people are gonna subscribe. I feel like I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Um, I think they give you like a free like 10 days trial with Emboss if you don't have the account to to just use it use the thing the add-on and try it out see so if you like it and you get free access to the account uh, the library um, if you guys want the add-on just go ahead and message me uh, I can try to send to you if you're using a Mac I'm not sure you can use it but you can try downloading it and try to install it and see if it works for you let me know if it works and like tell me how to do it so I can show my friend to do it because he's like really mad at me that I get to use this and he doesn't. But um, yeah, let, let, let me know what you guys think about this. Like thoughts, concerns, um, excitement, what are you going to use it for? Like let me know. But until next time, see you guys.